A Kinday. A Kinday. A Kinday. It's the Akinde Adventures. He's running at defenders, looking them in the eyes, giving them the Akinde surprise. There is a half full Coca Cola can in my bedroom that's been baking in the sun all day. Dare me to drink it. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, that was worse than what I expected. So, boys, here's the lowdown of what's happened. Now, people expecting Youth Squad Legends on the channel. Obviously, this video is not Youth Squad Legends. Let me explain. My Elgato broke last night. The delivery is on its way, along with a stream deck, which I'm super excited about, and a new router to hopefully improve, well, everything that my internet does. Been quite busy over the last couple of days because my mum's just gone in hospital and she's had surgery today and I'm thankful to say that everything went well. So please forgive me. I know that many people want you to squad legends. I also know that people were a bit annoyed at how quick the last episode of Youth Squad Legends went. To be honest, for me, the goal is just to get to the Premier League. Once we get into the Premier League, we can enjoy it a little bit more, but like I said, we're gonna speed it up. We're also wrapping up this series. Thankfully, I had a FIFA series on the PC so I can keep on recording, even though everything has broken. So I'm gonna give you guys an ultimatum. The story is like this. Akinde, Cone, BJ Banda, and some other Barnet players are there at the funeral of Akinde Adventures the series. And then all of a sudden, this weird mystical creature will come down from the sky. Who can it be? It is Unicorn Chavez! And he will offer you one more episode of Akinde Adventures. If you grant his wish of reviving Ronald Chavez. Dun, dun, dun. I've just realised that anybody who didn't watch Better Than The Journey in FIFA 17 will have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about right now. Hashtag revive Ronald. Let's go. <laughs> End the stream. <laughs> Leave Ronald alone. <laughs> Somewhere in the world, Benjamin Ortiz is now sweating. It was Bogota to start with. But he swam to somewhere to evade capture, and I just can't remember. Was it in the story? Oh no, he's at Robert's Rehabilitation Centre. Yes, swimming to somewhere was maybe a, a different storyline that I completely didn't use. You guys have spoken. Ronald Chavez is alive. And now we can play on and finish this series. I'm utterly distraught, traumatized that someone other than John Akinde scored. I don't know what to do with myself. What do I have to do? I've got a 90 rated manager and you are 17 in the Portuguese league. It's perfect boys. We go to Roma and we basically replace Francesco Totti with John Akinde. Or not. Bonnet are probably mid-table in league two, but they're gonna get the shock of their lives when they receive transfer offers for basically everybody in their team from Inter bloody Milan. Cole first, he's done enough. Douglas, definitely. Danny Devine, of course. I had so much fun on the editor that I really do feel the next thing we do after Youth Squad Legends, after Akinde's adventure has to be on the PC version. Because you can do so much with it. And we can have so much fun. So, we've entered February 2019. I see that we got Bayer Leverkusen in the round of 16. Champions League. Hopefully no one got seriously injured. With the Kinde turning into a 98 overall. It's time to unveil his final form. Yes. Shane McCartan has scored five goals in the last three matches. But now that we're playing... It's all about the man with the blue hair, Santos. Let's go! Call first! Akunde! Oh! <laughs> Head up. Or oh, punch away by Neil. Iconic. Akinde. 
Flick up. You can't contain. It's a kinday. Oh, I don't think anybody can stop him. This could be a glasso. Oh, Leno, what are you doing? Why is a kinday popping up on the wing? Just go, a kinday, go. The header is all important now. Oh, Perry NG. Domination. The carton's got it. A kinday. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious now? Wesley Fonguk stepping out of defence. That's Akinde's chest. The power, the speed, the finish. Hey, hey, hey. Big John Akinde. Akinde power, finish, bango! Akinde! Yes, chest control. Little shimmy. Oh, the touch. Come on now. Look at that. Oh, Akinde. Akinde steps past one. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, what a goal. <laughs> John Akinde. Oh, let's just look at this. Oh, it is an absolute screamer. Now that's what I call an Akinde surprise. Imagine having the Harlem Globetrotters of football play like this. Route 1 to the big striker. I'm about three miles away from the mic at the moment because I'm trying to find this thumb grip. Oh, a kidney's put it back into the box. I'm not really paying attention to what's happening on the screen. Messi's got stopped by Shay McCartan. Oh, call first. Akinde is onside. Just sidesteps PK. That is a finish. Messi's still showing why he is essentially a god. I made a Santos for all his good work this series. Just let Coutinho come closer and closer to the goal. Still, we have no possession. Another tackle flies in. Perry NG with a through ball down the line. Call first. Surely has the speed on this. It's Akinde, he needs help. He goes back to Akinola. Now Akinde, looking for the shot. What is PK doing? Cheers. I mean, it'd be way easier to play with all 11 players, but no, it's just scoring with Akinde. Yes, like this. Oh! Called it, Perry NG to come close. And then I'll play it back to the keeper. Sends it to Perry NG, lovely work. Trying to play Barcelona off the park like they did in the first leg. Wonderful. Akinde! Oh, oh, what a goal. Lionel Messi is making sure Barcelona have a chance in this tie. I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously. That's a decent tackle by O'Neill on Messi. Almeida Santos has had enough. He's going forward. This now is John Akinde on the run. He's got to bag. Oh, finally. Are they going to allow this attack? Can just play it through. Oh, I've got to score this. I have to score this. Heli Rudder Campanzu. Yes. Surely you've got to finish Akinde. I mean, I'm not going to lie and say that this is difficult because... If I went ultra sweat, I, I would just blast them out of the water and score many with a kinde. I am trying to score some delightfully gorgeous looking goals. But still, I'm very surprised how difficult it is compared to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a walk in the park. It isn't that. Many surround him. Want his autograph, obviously. Surely. A kinde. Surely. I'm going to bang it. Ooh! It's reminded me a lot of the Indian save that we did last year. Just the fact that it's a short series, there's some ridiculously overpowered players. It's a hell of a lot of fun, uh, but I won't miss it because we've not played that many games with it. I just look back at it and go, oh yeah, that, that was nice when we did that. Interesting. Are you ready for some magic? A kid, eh? Oh, somehow it's gone in. I'm shocked because it went through the wall. Well, in. Go, Akinde! Oh, he's so much quicker than these defenders. First leg has been overturned within eight minutes. Go! Shea McCartan surely can burn Savage. 
Just needs to find the ball. It's a Kinde. Oblak is stopping everything. <laughs> well, how ridiculous was that? Oblak has stopped this Inter Milan team from going to a Champions League final. Well, unless I go for another season, the series has a really disappointing end. To be fair, lads, we can't complain about EA AIDS. I know that it was pretty rough that game, but I did have quite a lot of very brilliant players that should just breeze past any kind of opposition. Hopefully, next season's UCL final, we'll be skipping straight to the final, uh, is a lot different, and we score many goals. You can see that he's started to age a little bit. He's gone down to a 95. Don't do this to me again, Dan. His pace is down to 92. So with the light slowly fading on Akinde's career, this is his big chance for global success. Come on. Yes. Yes. Goal. Okay, we're in the lead. It is Akinde. It's 1-0. Many, many more to get. BJ Banda waiting for it. Playing it. Goal. 2-0. Akinde. Spin. Akinde. Goal number three. He's one goal away from matching Pushkas's record. If this was a normal play, you'd be like, oh, what a fantastic person. A hat trick in the Champions League. That's not enough for a, a John Akinde. Oh, that is though! Oh. One more goal. Breaks the record for most goals in one Champions League final. Knock it in. Oh, no, he was there. Akinde is definitely onside. Five goals. I have no idea who the captain is, so some random is just going to lift this trophy. Oh, it's Perry. Okay, that's fine. Perry NG will lift the Champions League trophy. He's not a random. Perry NG is me. Champions League winners. This has been Cutsy. Thank you to everybody who's been watching this on stream. Anybody who's watched this on YouTube. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Top goal scorers in the league. Perry NG with 20. Got the golden boot from centre bike. Wow, we are done there. Piss and death.